What do you see? asked Cherry. I see the most beautiful garden ever, came a reply. Really? Tell me more, he asked enthusiastically. The rose you had planted two years back with your wife blooms as many as it could. The deep red flowers have attracted birds from all around the neighborhood. The old man smiled and asked, What about the lawn? How is that? The voice continued, The lawn is freshly trimmed. Tiny droplets of dew have settled on every pointy tip, waiting to disappear into thin air. But you can hardly see the grass. What? Why? Jerry interrupted. Because the lawn has hid itself under a blanket of gulmohar, that's why. There are double the number of blooms than last year. Jerry said, You know, I still remember when we had planted that tree. Such happy times they were. He gave a feeble smile with sorrowful eyes and continued, And the banyan tree? Well, that stands ever so magnificently. Its roots and branches have spread to every corner. And on one old branch hangs a freshly painted red swing. Jerry giggled and said, The tree has been here even before I was born. My father once told me that his father used to push him on the swing. Then he to me, and I did the same with my kids. Tell me more. What about the mango tree? Have the fruits come yet? Not yet, but probably within a month's time, replied the voice. A taxi honked outside the large bungalow. Jerry's son got down with a suitcase and a backpack. He entered the house as his father waved around his walking stick to find his path. His son greeted him, and before he could reach to hug his father, Jerry spoke. You told me I couldn't manage without you, that I'm blind and there's nothing left in this old man's life. But once, just once, take a look at my beautiful garden. As his son opened the door to the garden, his father continued, Tell me now. Isn't it wonderful? I can almost hear the birds singing and the bees buzzing. Tell me, don't you smell the freshly trimmed grass, the sweet scent of rose? Don't you see the delicate orange carpet and the towering trees? But I think you've come a month early. The mangoes are not ready yet. But as the sun looked out, he saw something completely different. He saw a dry rose bush, dry brown grass, the gulmohar tree with no leaves nor flowers, and the banyan tree with no longer a soul within. A garden with life completely sucked out, and all that was left was an old squeaking red swing about to break in. The End Hope you liked it. You can check out our podcast on Spotify where we have already posted more than 10 tales under the name The Two Minute Storyteller. On YouTube, make sure to tune in next week where I'll present you with another slice of life. Until then, farewell, bye-bye and take care.